Welcome back to Magician Word. Today we're going to take you on a flashback to the past as we revisit one of my childhood favorites, sea monkeys. I've got the sea monkey zoo here. Now, I never had the, uh, the zoo when I was a kid. We always just got the regular sea monkey packets and had to use a jar. But nonetheless, today I'm going to take all of you down the sea monkey rabbit hole. Or should I say, the sea monkey hole. The first time I heard about sea monkeys must have been when I was in Cub Scouts and I opened up the Boys Life magazine and in the back with the ads for the x-ray specs and the hovercraft plans, there was an ad for sea monkeys. A colorful ad, something like this or like this, that promised instant life. Instant life. As soon as I would receive a new copy of Boy's Life magazine, I would go straight to the back, to those mystical, magical pages of top secret products and dangerous hidden knowledge, where I would consider each ad as if I was the only one who had this precious resource, asking myself questions I could not answer. What's the furthest anyone has ever thrown their voice? Would I be more popular with a sidekick monkey? What's nuclear mean? These pages showed me it was a big mysterious world out there and also taught me that sometimes the reality is not as amazing as the advertisement, but it never stopped me from searching for those secrets. So let's get right into it. The Sea Monkey kit comes with three packets. Number one marked water conditioner. Number two marked instant live eggs. And number three marked growth food. So once your kit arrives, day one has all the thrills and excitement of adding sugar to your tea. Pour 10 ounces of room temperature distilled water into a clean container and mix in packet number one. What? 24 hours? Well, this will give me some time to learn more about sea monkeys and their eccentric creator, Mr. Harold Von Brunhut. Harold von Braunhut was born Harold Nathan Braunhut in Memphis, Tennessee in 1926. According to the Washington Post, he added the von to his name sometime in the 1950s for a more Germanic sounding name so he could distance himself from his Jewish family. Braunhut was a master marketer with 195 patents including a 1972 patent for Instant Life, later renamed Sea Monkeys. He also created and held patents for X-ray Specs and Crazy Crabs, which were simply hermit crabs, which did in fact turn out to make a pretty good pet. Harold von Braunhut was a bit of a flim-flam man. He knew the art of magic well and even managed the career of the great Dunninger. His instant life process was half miracle of nature, half magic trick. Just like a magician that presents a little known scientific principle as magic, Harold had an epiphany. Brine shrimp, usually used for fish food, could become the next ant farm. Instant pets for children due to Mother Nature's remarkable magic of cryptobiosis. In the cryptobiotic state, all measurable metabolic processes stop, 
preventing reproduction until conditions return to a hospitable one. The females are able to produce dormant eggs known as crist. They can be stored indefinitely and hatched on demand. As magical as this was, von Braunhut wanted the illusion to be instant live pets. So he did a little hocus pocus on his own, adding crist to the number one packet. And that gave those little guys a bit of a head start. So, on day two, when packet two is added, more salt, more crisp eggs are added to the mix, plus a tiny bit of blue dye is in packet number two. Now this, when mixed in the water, makes the sea monkeys more visible. This was the brainstorm. This was the genius of the instant life. The life seemed to appear right then. And some other trade secrets supposedly are in the packets as well. Other secret ingredients that he only passed down to his second wife, Yolanda Signorelli, who is due to appear in a extended documentary called Instant Life, which I can't wait for. Well, it is day two, so let's add packet two. Okay, friends, it's day two. It's been 24 hours, and that means it's time for number two. Number two, instant live. Look for that little bit of dye in there. You can see the dye right away. Stuff floating, but to me, I thought I saw something moving. Turns out it was just a floater in my eye. Well, it's still day two, and I've seen my first sea monkeys. There they are. Right there. Okay, here we are. Day three. I've got this magnified 799 times. But these are your day three sea monkeys. Unbelievable. You know what? Harold von Braun Hutt actually did was take our imaginations to this other world where these sea creatures, these little naked families survive and, and come to life right in your own living room. And just like Frankenstein's monster, Harold had a few skeletons in his closet as well. The more I learned about this story, the more I dove into it. I've left several links in the description. If you have time, check them out. Harold also had an association with the KKK and spoke at the Aryan Nation National Convention. He died in 2003, and since then, some things have changed. What on earth? The sea monkeys are wearing clothes. Harold would not be happy about this. The sea monkeys have always been naked. Wow, and to think this is only day three. I'll post another video when I feed them for the first time on day seven. And thank you so much for joining me on this fascinating journey. I'll give you some more information about the notorious side of 
Mr. Von Braha in part two. So be sure and click part two, the feeding of the feet. Thank you so much.